Volumetrics create atmosphere and sell a sense of depth, and can trick the viewer into thinking they're looking at a photo. Hey, what's up? I'm David Aryev, and I'm a 3D motion designer and educator, and I'm gonna help you make your renders better. In this video, you'll learn to use volumetrics to soften harsh lighting, hide looping scenes with atmosphere, create a fog volume and tweak settings to add mood and depth, composite in extra volumetric passes to boost the volumetrics in post, and find and use high quality VDBs for clouds, smoke, and fire. If you want more ideas to improve your renders, make sure to grab our PDF of 10 tips in the description. Now let's get started. Volumetrics, also known as atmospherics or aerial perspective, is the effect that the atmosphere has over great distances by absorbing light and causing colors to get more desaturated and blue over those distances. Volumetrics can also be cases where a scene is full of fog or haze or just clouds. Creating atmosphere can soften the light and really convince the eye that we're no longer looking at harsh CG, but something real. For example, here's a scene that I put together using Megascans, and the sunlight is nice, but it's also pretty harsh. Once I add in the patchy fog volume, the light quality gets much softer and more pleasing to the eye. Here's a shot from some concert visuals I created for Zed, and you can see that without volumetrics, all the repetitions of the environment are noticeable because I needed the shot to loop while moving in the Z direction. Without volumetrics, this just wouldn't have been possible. Also, the haze makes the air feel so much colder and more believable. Here's that cyberpunk scene again with volumetrics, and here it is without. Even though it's only really affecting the far background, it makes a big difference and implies the world is larger than it is. Here's how I'd go about this. We just create a standard fog volume box and scale it up. Then I put a white color into the absorption and scattering and bring the density way down. Then I push it back into the scene so all the foreground stays contrasty and we get the best of both worlds with a nice contrasty foreground and a hazed background. I've got another good example here from a music video I did a couple years back featuring ice caves. In the last couple shots, I added some haze in to make the scale feel a lot bigger, and I even did a separate pass of just volumetrics by turning all the materials to diffuse black. This renders super fast this way too, and here you can see me adjusting the amount of volumetrics up and down in After Effects with curves and duplicating the pass to get even more direct god rays in the shot, as well as masking out the opening so it doesn't blow out too much. Finally, clouds, smoke, and fire are other types of volumetrics that can add a lot of life to your scenes, and there's some great software out there for creating these in C4D, like Turbulence FD, X-Particles Explosia, and Jenga FX Embergen. If you don't want to jump into simulating though, you can just buy a pack of VDBs. VDB just stands for Volume Database, or depending on who you ask, Volumetric Data Blocks, or just whatever helps you remember it, like Very Dope Best Friend and you can pull these into Octane directly here using the Octane VDB volume object. These ones from Travis Davids are a great starting point for only $2, and then there are these sets from my buddy Mitch Myers, and some very unique ones by the French Monkey, as well as some interesting ones from Production Crate like this Mega Tornado. And finally, the Pixel Lab has a ton of packs, including animated VDBs, which are otherwise very hard to come by and can save you from having to do sims. There's also a very cool and massive VDB from Disney that you can download for free here that's great to experiment with. By keeping these tips in mind, you'll be well on your way to consistently creating awesome renders. If you want to learn more ways to improve your renders, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when we drop the next tip.